Mr. Sasser, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, my friend. How about you? Very good, very good, very good. I'm actually sitting at home. Had a, uh, a really easy day cleaning some solar panels, some residential panels. But you're back out in the field, as usual, it looks like, with that tractor cleaning those, uh, those solar farms. How's that going for you today? Uh, we've been going wide open for a week now. Uh, I'm glad the weather's break and no rain, and we're able to get this dust, dirt, and debris off these panels. <laughs> definitely, definitely. You guys, uh, where exactly are you located? Uh, right now, I am in Cochrane, Georgia. There's two big Georgia. sites. Here. Okay. All yes. right. All right. And uh, uh, if you if you don't mind me asking, how how large is the the solar film solar farm that you're cleaning right now? Uh, this one here is only 7,800 panels, and then the one on the other side of town, I think it's like 10.5. Wow. So, um. Because I'm curious too, I wanted to bring you on onto the podcast, and I wanted to talk to you about the tractors because I think they're uh, very impressive. When I was at the 2021 Inter Solar Convention at Long Beach, I got to see one um, that they had there up close, and and I was just blown away at how massive it is. So I have a few questions that that came to mind. Um, one of the things that I noticed with the robot is the speeds that it has. It's not particularly as efficient as it is. It's not a super fast type of uh, uh, robot. And it, 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 I don't know if it, it should should be or shouldn't be, uh, but my question to you is, how fast does the tractor clean at? You know, the, it does not have a speedometer in it. It's got everything else, but uh, we clean a solar panel 100% thoroughly in about one to two seconds a piece. Okay, you know, see, average... that's, that's, I, I kind of wanted to break it down to like that and kind of see where, where you were at. So, um, cause leading to my next question, and this is, this is where I was really wondering is how many panels do you, you know, are you guys cleaning in a day? What is the most solar panels that you can clean in a day with that tractor? Oh my gosh. Depends on how much many hours a day you want to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let let's say in in a in an eight hour work day, just a basic eight hour work day. Okay, a good work day. Everything goes just right, and it's never not just right. Right. Uh, no Murphy's <laughs> law. Everything goes perfect. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a good day, eight thousand panels, no problem. Uh, wow. bad day, bad day. About half that many, and that's only because you got a single actual tractor system where you got the drive shaft. You got to stop halfway and back out. So we do more backing out than we do driving forward. Yeah, and is that because of the uh, the the con the conduit conduit lines? The conduit lines? Uh, no, not conduit. I've seen some of that picture. You know, where the car was going on one end where you can't get out with a vehicle kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, a, the company Array builds a single axle tracker where there's one tracker turns the field and okay. it, it's got drive shaft right through the middle of the field. So you go halfway down a long row, you got to stop and back out and do it again. Ah, uh, all right. And uh, let me ask you, cause I look at it, Rick, and I'm like, man, this thing is just bad ass. And, and that's easy looking at, at, you know, a piece of equipment that that big, that size is really easy to be excited about it. Um, are there some drawbacks to it? Okay, because I can think about all the stuff that I do, and I can easily think about some, you know, some things here and there that I can I can fix or that I can I would want to be better. Is there any kind of drawbacks or anything that that stops you? Ah, uh, you know. I mean, we say our prayer every day before we get on site, and uh, and to answer your question, yes, obviously there's a lot of hurdles and stuff. Anything that you got to jump over to get from point A to point B. Uh, one of them is a trailer equipped, just something simple. I'm standing here looking at, you know, it's a 40 foot trailer, and uh, it's a big water tank filtration on it. And it's got a a 40 foot piece of equipment with a water tank and a brush and all, so. You know, you got to think about how you're going to get from point A to point B and how many people it take to do so. 
Right. Right. Yeah. That's, that's a very good point. Um, one of the things that, that I think about is, uh, driving back and forth with a lift in all my days that I did commercial. One of the reasons why I stopped doing commercials, I started out doing current commercial, but it, it got really hectic and I fell in love with residential so deeply. I'm very passionate about it, but not too long ago, I did a uh, commercial job that was an hour and a half away. And I did take a uh, trailer with a, a lift on the back of it. And I got all the way up to uh, the job and realized that I didn't really even hook the the trailer all the way on, on the, the ball hitch, nor did I connect the chains. I was on a phone call that morning and I was rushing and it was one of the scariest things ever because one knock and it would have just can't, you know, the, the trailer could have just came off the ball hitch and just, it could have been a disaster. And I don't think a lot of people think about, you know, everything that that's uh, included when um, you're doing the, whether it be the, the commercial mid to large to even the large scale utility like you do. There's a lot more involved than just uh, than cleaning. You have to have a lot of different certificates, aerial certificates, different things like that. Um, what are some of the, are there any kind of, you know, I, I couldn't imagine any kind of crazy certificates that you, you would need to drive a, tra a tractor. But has there been any kind of <laughs> certificates or anything, uh, you know, that you've added to, to, uh, to increase your experience or to, to, to make working better? Uh, you know, I have a at 10 and 30, a lot of guys do out there, that's not that big a deal. Uh, as of a year or so ago, I mean, if you went to their site and want to get certified in doing anything, OSHA, it ain't out there. Uh, right. insurance, insurance is really crazy sites, so that's something that's, uh, you got to be aware about. That's, that is uh, nothing shit the sites like this. I mean, you know, you're talking... Right. Million dollars. Yeah. So you got to have well, okay, the insurance. Like what? Like a $2 million aggregate? Like bigger than that? Uh, I think that sort of sounds exactly like what I got in place, but there's so much more technicalities to it, such as I have a okay. policy for environmental hazard. You know, environmental hazard. <laughs> What's going <laughs> to environmentally hazard am I going to do? And right. So, right. You know, there's a lot of let's go and a lot of ways of water. So, you know, you got to have a lot of insurance. Wow. Wow. Um, and so what happens, uh, what happens when you come about to, this is kind of like a, a two part question. The first part question is what happens when you come across, when you're cleaning an array and you have a broken panel that's in the middle of the cleaning, because that brush is really huge. Now for us, we don't touch it whatsoever. So what is the protocol for you guys in a tractor when you come across a, a broken panel? You know, I'm going to be real honest. Uh, a lot of times in heavy soil fields, you don't even see them. Uh, okay, okay. We run seven to nine gallons a minute, sometimes more at about 70 to 100 pounds of pressure. And so in saying that, we always used to lift, but, you know, you're, you're talking, uh, we try not to, okay? How's that? That's definitely a no-no. Right. I'm not going to say nothing other than that. But. When okay. you're cleaning and you can't see, nothing ever happened, thank God, knock on wood. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just can't see them, sometimes you do. So, you know, we try to stop and go over those that are broken. Sometimes there's two or three in a row, so you never know. Now, I myself have broken a solar panel one time, uh, you know, and it was actually in a rid ridiculous situation. I happened to be uh, doing a residential cleaning, and, I, and to this day, I still don't know if I broke that panel I sprayed water on it, and I believe there's a possibility it was a very hot day that maybe the solar panel shattered in lieu of me spraying water at it. But part of me believes that somebody shot an airsoft pellet at me while I was up on that roof. I don't know. I'm always a paranoid individual. But I did break a panel. I still take that. You know, I still take credit for that. Um, is it the same for you with broken panels? Like, I, I'm assuming that um, – it, that it may happen and that it can happen. A, a broken panel can happen. Oh, yeah. Has I mean, that ever happened? Yes. Broke one today. Got really? a man up. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was not a solar panel. It was one of the small panels on the tracker system live. 
Uh, you know, they're about a, not even a fourth the size of a standard solar panel. And our brush, you know, it didn't like the weight and so it just went over a little bit. That's part of that learn and go thing, you know. I take it pictures is. of all that. I turn all that in. We don't, we're not shy about none of that. Uh, it no, is part you, of business. You can't be. We actually, um, now that I think about it, there was one, I, you know, those solar panels that are the, the mirror ones that shine up at the, like the tower at the top. They're very creepy looking and cultish looking if you ask me, but they're, they're super cool, but they're just basically a mirror. And then behind yeah. them, it looks like it, it, they look like shot glasses behind them, a bunch of, well, we were cleaning that out in the field. And one time I actually broke one of those, which, um, that was not too, they were cool about it, but uh, uh, we broke part of that one one time. So things can happen and can happen in the field. Um, what, it, what are some of the amazing things that have happened to you in solar paint? You know what, actually, that's a stupid question. I don't want to ask that question. I got a better question. And before, and before I ask, well, no, I, I, I got, I actually, I, I got I a couple answer. of good questions. But, but first, I can before I go any further, I want to I want to finish off with the the tractor because someone did ask how much is the, these tractors going for? Oh, oh my gosh. I, I knew that was coming. You know, I'll be honest. Time you go out and buy a piece of equipment, a piece of equipment, of course, uh, multiple brushes because there's short panels, double bay panels, and so you got different arrays. Uh, and you probably put in your water truck and this that and that. Again. Now you're gonna spend three, four hundred thousand minimal, and right. plan on about a half a million dollars. You know, really per per gig, right. I would say. I, I would yeah. say half a million, because you're you're hit it. Someone put a one hundred twenty-five to one hundred fifty thousand ballpark. Well, if you're thinking about getting something like this, you better thinking about the trailer, the vehicle that you're towing it with. So you, you know, you're in the you're in the hole for a half a million easily, in my opinion. I mean, that's 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 the way it is. Um, all right, well. Good enough. I'll be um, I'll be real honest with you. I got over that just in brushes, so you know. I don't doubt it. I I don't doubt it. But and and that does lead to the question that that I really do want to want to ask you. Um, and beforehand, do you have long hair? Oh yeah, I got to pull back, wear a hat. There you go. See, I I thought you had short hair. You have long hair. Okay, well there you go. Um, is let me ask you this, Rick. You started out solar panel cleaning um, how long ago? Uh, this is going on my third season. First year was getting third set season. Market. Oh, yeah. So did you get right into solar panel cleaning right with the tractors? Yep. <laughs> So Thank you. you're a badass. <laughs> well, you know, everybody can agree that Rick Sasser is a badass. That's very impressive. Really, really awesome. You have to do other things in order to do that. So I don't believe that, you know, you just woke up one day and you're like, bam, I can do this. You you have to, you know, I'm assuming that you had other things in your life. Can I, if, it, if it's okay, can I ask what you were doing before you started cleaning solar panels three seasons ago? Sure. Uh, this is five plus years now. I've been living 100% off it with solar panels, had a bank converter, the whole nine yards. And really? so, yeah. And then, you know, five years ago, you go out there and look at the growth of the solar panel industry just in itself. You know, I have a side hobby. And that's my daggone business. But uh, anyways, there's just so much potential for all cleaners out there. You know, not just me. It don't matter. There's everywhere. Look, you guys are coming out there. Yeah, it is. It's it's a beautiful uh, a beautiful industry that I love. That I've uh, I've been actually in it for eleven years, and I love it. I mean, wholeheartedly and passionately. So much so oh, yeah. that every Tuesday I like to get on on this computer and and talk about it like a like a a nerd or geek. I don't know, but I I love it. I love solar panel cleaning. <laughs> That's all I do: eat, sleep, and watch solar panels. So hey, I know the feeling. That's it. <laughs> There, yeah, it's it's amazing. My family loves me for it. Well, Rick, thank you so much for coming on the show and hanging out with me and, and talk with me about uh, um, the tractor. 
I, I see you in the group and um, thank you so much for your participation participation in the group. Everybody is just um, ecstatic about your, your tractor, man. You're just a badass, in my opinion. One hell of a badass in this, this industry. I got to pass something a little bit early. What's We've that? Got, I said I'll pass something on to you a little bit early. We've got a What's handful that? of Go equipment. Ahead. We've got a handful of equipment, handful of equipment. Uh, gonna start marketing. So probably in just the next few months, we'll have total packages of exactly what that you need to get out there and do it right on one pass, one seconds a piece. I've got anything if anybody's wanting to jump in. I will have them. I have a facility that will service them and market them and sell them. There it is. And Rick, yeah, I was gonna ask you here, how can somebody get a hold of you? Can they uh email you or or how would be the best way to get a hold of you if they are interested uh then go to the website www.solarfarmservice.com there's a link comes right to me my cell phone i give it out 770-231-1405 i get a lot of hits and messenger and not some a little bit of facebook but linkedin and all that you know combination it's, it's a crazy thing nice nice well hey you guys got that here. If you guys are interested, definitely hit up. There's a few people in the group that just might be interested in that. And also from the uh, YouTube channel, Rick, um, I'm excited to, to see more from you when you're done with this job right here, post some pictures for us. Cause we're definitely want to see the outcome, man. You're uh, you're a beast out there. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, we'll see you next time. You have an invite to come back here anytime you want on the podcast. All right. So oh, this time around. I'm out. I'll be glad to participate. <laughs> it worked out perfect with the, uh, the the cell phone and the headphones. So that was perfect today. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Thank you, sir. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Guys, Mr. Rick Sasser. I like the guy. He's been in the season for, he's been in the season, he's been in the industry for three years, three seasons. <laughs>